find myself wondering what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And our team was the year I had to leave. Good morning. Today is a day in August and it's feeling really, really wintry. It's very cloudy and it's supposed to rain come 10 o'clock. It's about 8 o'clock now. So this is the room. If you've seen my apartment tour already, you'll know. But I think I want to turn on this light. There we go. Nice and festive. I am just going to put on another wash brush my hair, get ready, eat something small, and then head to the gym. We have a gym in the apartment complex, which is really, really handy. So we'll do a quick workout, Luke and I, and then we'll head for some brunch. So I'll show you the gym and I'll keep you posted on what sort of exercises we do. Off in there. You've never worn that. Hey, just put it in. Why? Look at all that shit that's came off it. Babes, that's just dust. I'm not throwing in a brand new t-shirt into there. Yeah, but there's there's dust on it. There's none. It. Shower time post gym. I worked legs, but and then a little bit of arms because I mostly tacked them yesterday, so I didn't want to go too hard on them. So yeah, gonna have a shower and then I will head to brunch. I'm not sure how good the lighting is right now, but this is today's outfit for brunch. Just something nice and cozy, even though the sun is trying to come out now, which is always great. So hopefully I can get some sun on my face. Look at this. Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely loved the food and loved this dog that we got to spend time with and this is the area very trendy went to my fave chain fast food place in sydney grilled and then went to the cinema to watch oppenheimer we're about to see oppenheimer Craig. Craig. Another very gloomy day. I am in the park. I'm just finished work. Well, it was really orientation and it was so interesting because I also had a session learning so much about Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islanders of Australia and just really cool facts like the Aboriginal flag was only created in 1971 and then during the Stolen Generations. So. I don't know if people watching this will know much about the Stolen Generation here in Australia, but it happened up until, I think it was 1970, where Aboriginal children were taken away from their parents. It happened as frequently as one in three kids. So that's really, really crazy because my parents, like that could have happened to them if they were Aboriginal in Australia. I probably gonna do some shopping when I get home and yeah, chill out. Testing, testing, testing. Good morning from my bathroom. Today is Friday and I really hope to have this video out by today. I'm a little bit later than usual on my schedule, but I thought I'd do a little get to know me, but a story time at the same time. I left my job in June, my old job, and then I was about a month with no work. So it was a little bit stressful. Half of that month was me traveling the US with my parents, my brother, and my best friend. So I wasn't really thinking about it too much then, but when I came back to Sydney, I was jobless for two weeks. 
I was waiting for my current new job to finalize documentation, proof of vaccines and all that. And I just want to stress, in my opinion, it's so important to leave a job if it's making you feel really upset, if you think you're just there for stability, to be getting money every week, every month, whenever you get paid. I was on a pretty good salary there, but I really did not like the job. It did not suit me. I'm really grateful that that job gave me the job so that I could, you know, have some savings for traveling so that I could get my foot into the door into a science type job, which is really difficult when you aren't from the country. But I was really miserable there for the last couple of months. It was not what I expected the job to be like. I felt like I could do a lot more than what I was doing. It just felt very monotonous, very boring. And I felt really, really isolated there. I was primarily working on my own or with just one other person. And right now it's my fourth week in a new job. It's really similar to the one I had in Ireland. I'm working in a big lab with about 15, 20 people. And it just feels so good to have that social side of the job to get on with everyone and to be doing work that I'm really passionate about, which is working with bacteria, which is a little bit gross, but it's what I like doing. And I really didn't appreciate the job I had in Ireland as much as I should have until I came to Australia. So that is where I'm at right now. I unfortunately can only work there for six months because of the working holiday visa. If you're not aware, you cannot work with the same employer for more than six months, which is such a bummer because this job could have offered it to me for a full year. So that's another issue that I need to get around, maybe checking if I can jump onto another visa. But in the meantime, I'm really happy to be where I am for six months. So just wanted to put out there in case anyone's going through what I felt about a month ago where I was really, really upset where I was. I would go to work, come home and cry way too much. I just felt like I had no energy to do anything else because I was just thinking about how much I disliked where I was. If it means going broke for a little while or not saving what you wanna save, just do it because you will regret it if you stay somewhere where you're unhappy. At the end of the day, when you're working, you're working, it depends on the person obviously, but I was working about 38 hours a week. That is a lot of your time, Monday to Friday, primarily most of your day awake. Is working so you want to like what you're doing or at least not dislike what you're doing I hope that has given someone inspiration to leave if you're not happy where you are and I will catch you with another video hopefully in every video I'll kind of let you get to know a little bit more about me I don't want to just dump it all in one video because I don't know if people will watch that but yeah more travel and Sydney videos coming soon bye